known to law enforcement. So they execute this search warrant, and as Ann indicated, Detective Gary Sanders, one of the detectives who was there that day, described it as a house of horrors. And I want to talk to you more specifically about some of the items that were found. In addition to the noose and gallows that Ann talked about, there was a large poster exhibited in the home uh, of a woman with a sword through her vagina coming up through her stomach. There was pornography found laid out on Stephen Powell's bed. And most shockingly was this cache of images of Susan Powell, but not just Susan Powell, but all kinds of women. So Stephen Powell had been going out in public and filming women, taping women without their consent, without their knowledge. And he had this obvious obsession with Susan and other women as well. But as you can see, even from this image here that's blacked out, he was taking videos and images of Susan without her knowledge while she's changing, while she's using the bathroom. And the most troublesome part for me is there's suggestion that Josh Powell knew this was going on. Josh knew his father was doing this and simply allowed it to go forward. So not only was Josh abusing his wife emotionally, physically, financially, but so was his father and he was allowing it to happen. So they find all these images but they also find all these tapes. And if you, if you can read, I know it's a small script, it says, Susan Powell washing face, brushing teeth. Susan on stool, pantyhose. This is Stephen Powell filming Susan without her knowledge. And as Ann said, he was a, a, I guess we'll call him a singer, if we're gonna call him that. He made his own music and he would write songs about Susan. And His name was Steve Chanson, I think. He had, yeah, he had, had a, an album. An alias. So. He does all this, but I think the most shocking piece is what you're seeing in this image. These are all of Susan's undergarments that were found in Susan's, or Stephen's home. These are used tampons, other hygiene products that Stephen Powell had collected over the years. And all of this is found during this investigation. And at the time, this is August 25th, 2011, at the time, Charlie and Braden are living in that home with their father. Also living in that home is Alina Powell and uh, Josh's brother, John Powell. So on that date, they don't take the boys out of the home because they don't actually know what all is discovered. So they also take about 15 to 20 computers. On those computers is all these voyeuristic images, but they also find child pornography. And Stephen Powell is arrested. Uh, he's charged with 14 counts of voyeurism. He is charged with one count of child pornography. And importantly, Josh Powell was never ruled out as a suspect in those same charges. 